Special Features Maximum Fury Filming Fury Road Mad Max Fury on Four Wheels The Road Warriors Max and Furiosa The Tools of the Wasteland The Five Wives So Shiny, So Chrome Fury Road Crash and Smash I am a milker Turn every grain of sand Let's do this Includes digital HD ultraviolet so you can enjoy the film on many different compatible devices. Must enter redemption code by September 1st, 2018 to redeem digital HD ultraviolet offer. High definition is not currently available on all devices. See ultraviolet details section below for details. Does not include iTunes file, but is compatible with iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and most Android devices. Review by Julian Pope on May 17, 2015. The Mad Max series is finally enjoying a long-awaited 30 years. Return to form or is it? Fury Road brings our titular hero back into the spotlight where he deserves to be. This time around Mel Gibson has been replaced with fan-favorite actor Tom Hardy Inception, Warrior, The Dark Knight Rises. Not only was Hardy a perfect cast from the aesthetic standpoint looks very much like a younger Mel Gibson in the movie but the way he plays the character makes it feel like he's been doing it forever. The supporting cast was anything but lost in this one. In fact many people will say they stole the show mostly because of Hardy's more limited role. Theron turns in an excellent performance as the Imperator Furiosa and raises the bar of the female hero almost to the levels of Sigourney Weaver's Ellen Ripley from the Alien movies. Nicholas Holt Google him plays someone that hardly resembles him or anything else he's done and does a great job making you feel conflicted about his character Nux. Chaotic and brutal, those are the two most defining words to describe this movie. The action in this film is so intense and so constant the minutes in between scenes where it slows down albeit with an uneasy tension are just enough for you to catch your breath. Don't be fooled by the extravagantly improbable scenes. Most of which you see in this film was actually done not CGI. Many, if not all of the race scenes are all done with professional drivers and stunt people, making the movie just that much more incredible. George Miller who also directed the first three movies returns to recreate his dry and desolate world and fill it with vile villains and heroic heroes. This is Mad Max for the new era.